What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry that I skipped Monday's video, but that was the day I was supposed to share like my Montauk vlog and how the trip went. But honestly, I had every intention of vlogging on that trip, but it's just like, as soon as I got there, I was just like, I really need to just reset, rest and chill out and detach. There's barely like any service out there so the only time I really had access to anything was when we were back at our Airbnb and connected to Wi-Fi. So it was just like a good time to just kind of chill and it was really much needed. Um, I've been really feeling overwhelmed like the past few weeks and even more so this past week. So uh, just been taking things really slowly and day by day and chilling out this is probably the most slowed down I've been in a really, really long time. So, uh, yeah, I just, like, I recorded some footage, so I'll stitch it together in a little montage so you guys can see what it was like. But it was just really nice to be out there with Marco and his cousins and just kind of be by the water. And uh, we caught some, like, really beautiful sunsets. So it was a very introspective trip for me. Uh, a lot of just like quiet sitting on the beach and just a ton of thinking. It was definitely a much needed trip and I loved it. So really glad to be back with like a kind of refreshed mindset, I guess. But I'm going to finish my coffee and I'm just gonna do a little bit of work. Right now I have to answer a couple of messages. Uh, so we will circle back after and show you guys how my trip went. And we're back and I still haven't finished my coffee but that was my trip uh, super fun and just relaxing for the beaches the parking is closed for like daily permits so what we did is we did the street parking and we basically just went to the beach for two hours and then came back to the car because I think that's the parking limit we also just kind of like town hopped so we drove out to Southampton and then East Hampton there's also Bridgehampton and then um, 
a lot of times we were just kind of like cruising around in the car and looking at all the beautiful houses and it was just really nice. We did stay at an Airbnb, which can get pretty pricey if you look into something last minute. Usually there are tons of amazing Airbnbs out in the Hamptons. I just recommend you go hunting for them months before like the actual summer season kicks off. Usually uh, I feel like Montauk has a little bit more hotels where South the Hamptons are a little bit more residential. So it is good to kind of get a group together. That's what I did last year with a group of girls and that was like an amazing week out in Montauk. I answered a couple of emails and we are going to head upstairs in a little bit. I already cleaned the room last night so that you weren't stuck with another hyperlapse of me cleaning. Although the living room does need cleaning, so. So I will attempt to clean this a little bit later, but I also got curtains finally for Marco's room. So we are going to mount these a little bit later. These are just from Target. Uh, he wanted blackout ones because he has like a fancy TV or whatever, so he doesn't like when the glare comes in. So we are going to mount these. We already have the rod. I believe it's already upstairs in his room, but went with like a nice gray color to kind of contrast the dark blue. And then yesterday I had to return some stuff at Crate and Barrel. I just had a couple of um, mason jars that I over ordered. So I got a gift card uh, and then I ended up getting some other things instead. My OXO cookie scoops broke. So I grabbed these new ones from Crate and Barrel. I have like a little tongs thing because we only have like large ones for cooking. Uh, and then what else did I grab? I grabbed a little cookie spatula and an even bigger scoop so that hopefully that one doesn't break. And I also grabbed some glasses, some champagne glasses and wine glasses as well with stems, so. These are like the glasses that we usually use, but we can also use these for wine. I'm more of a white wine rosé person, so this is good. And then I got a red wine one, I think these are, yeah. This is 18 ounce. They have an even bigger one, but we're not huge on red wine. So, I mean, at least I'm not. I don't know if Marco is. These are the red wine ones. And then we also just got champagne ones because I realized at New Year's, I didn't have any champagne flutes. So uh, just two for Marco and I, whenever we had like a nice dinner at home. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wash these and then put these away a little bit later. While, we're doing a haul. I also grabbed these two from uh, Indigo, which is a bookstore that they have at Short Hills Mall. It's a chain, but it, I guess there aren't that many locations around, but I grabbed Money Diaries um, by Refinery29 just to kind of get another um, outlook on like handling money and just want to take some better notes. And then I also grabbed this change journal by Lukestrom, Luch, 1917. Um, this is just like 24 methods for self-optimization, only five minutes per day, explore, focus, change. And I think it's just a good way for me to kind of organize myself. Like little notes in here on how to, I guess, like process your thoughts better. Like this page says thanks and like what you're, thankful and grateful for, about a digital detox, uh, noting how much time I spend on stuff, how much less time I spend on other things. There's professional goals, main priorities. There's like a lot going on in here. So i um, excited to give this a go. So I am going to clean up down here a little bit and then we will head upstairs and I'm just gonna like make myself presentable. But we did take a couple of things that I got from Farfetch on the trip, including this backpack, the Saint Laurent one. My Farfetch code still works in case anyone is interested. This actually fits a lot 
but it does not fit my 16 inch laptop. So that's just something to know. And we're back in the room. So I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I literally got eaten alive by mosquitoes out in Montauk. Like, I have so many bug bites. So I literally got this thing from CVS to kind of just help with the itchiness. It feels better now. I think all the bug bites kind of happened maybe Thursday or Friday. Something like that. Um, but yeah, they were really loving my legs. If you guys are going out, don't forget your SPF and don't forget your bug spray because... That was not fun. Okay, so I was going to like do, put on some makeup and you know, fix myself up. But you know what, today is just not one of those days for me and I'm just gonna unbox this in my true form right now. Because I feel like you guys already know me and so we don't need to get all done up. Also, this is just kind of a smaller unboxing. I am going to be doing a Chanel shoe collection video, so that should be lined up for next week. Um, so if you guys have any specific questions on shoes, I'm going to be talking about size and fit and comfort level on those, so please stay tuned for that. But uh, for now, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of an unboxing. I grabbed this at the boutique yesterday. Um, it's just a fragrance and a little SLG in here. So I mentioned before that I was looking for a longer wallet. I'm not a big wallet person, but I did want something that could kind of hold all of my little things if I didn't want to carry a full on purse with me. So that's just your little hint on that one before I open that one up. I originally wanted the Chanel checkbook. It was kind of like a, um, a folio. This is in the lambskin, but I wanted it in caviar. So it is this one over here. Let me get that to focus. And it has a pocket in the back and just like a folio. I thought it'd be a good idea to have something that's just like a little bit bigger for like receipts and other things. So, so I wanted to take a look at that, but they didn't have any in store and it was just on order and I wasn't really sure about it. So I saw this, which is something that I had been thinking about and actually just like trying it out, I was like, okay, so that is the one. But I also picked up a fragrance, so I'll just open this up first. This is the Riviera fragrance. It just smells so nice and clean. And to be honest, I'm not like a huge fragrance person. I have like a couple of the, I have like the Gabrielle, but sometimes that's just too heavy and I feel like for summer I just want something a little bit lighter. And I don't ever really shop for fragrances unless it's something that I know I'm really, really going to love. Every time I get a fragrance, I actually just think of my mom and think if she'll love it because she kind of just like takes my bottles sometimes, so. This is the Riviera. It is a limited uh, scent. So once this runs out, they are out of it. So this is the new one I got. If you guys have a Chanel boutique that is open by you or you get a chance to pass by this, give it a smell. I feel like a lot of you will really like it. It's just like a nice, really light, airy, and clean uh, fragrance. Now we are going to unbox this one. This is what it looks like. My phone is in here. I have a Pro, so if you have the smaller phone, you will be fine. This only fits with either a super thin phone case, which I actually already ordered and is on the way. Uh, so this will fit with like a really slim phone case, or if you have the smaller one, then a regular phone case should be fine. But the phone just fits in the front pocket. There are five slots in the back for cards. And then inside, you can easily fit cash and receipts. I just have like a dollar in here plus the um, the authenticity card. 
But yeah, this is just something nice and easy to carry if you don't want a full on purse along with you. So in case anyone is looking, uh, check this one out. And uh, just so that you guys can see about size, I will show you guys it inside the classic flap. Just have a couple of things in here. So let me take these out. I also did get my Samorga insert for my medium, which is in here. That's the wine color. And this just slides easily inside. about to have my meeting in like 10 minutes so we will probably circle back around dinner time Marco and I are making Korean barbecue so just gonna walk you guys through that even though I probably have already but I'm gonna wrap up the vlog with that and yeah so just prepping for my meeting now going over like this uh, Google Doc that they sent it is with Neiman Marcus that you guys know I've been working with for over a year now and just uh so excited to get back to work with them and yeah that is coming up i am sleepy marco is home and making rice uh i'm gonna start cooking our dinner Okay, so for the first meat, which is like my favorite, this is the one that I always have, I get the brisket. It is just called brisket thin sliced. And all I do is basically just cook it in the pan in its own fat. And then I make my brisket dipping sauce. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Marco likes the marinated uh, ribeye roll, the bulgogi. So that is this one and it's just really quick and easy. Okay, so for the brisket dipping sauce, just need some soy sauce, water, rice vinegar, and granulated sugar. You can also add onions if you want. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to wrap up this video here. I am re-watching the OC from the very beginning, so that is what's on the TV now. But um, yeah, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll be back with another sit down video next week, so please stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.